Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Volkmer. My students like to call me Mrs. V. I'm an elementary art teacher in the Council Bluffs District and this year I'm at Hoover, Crescent, and Roosevelt Elementary. Today I want to talk to you about my favorite season of the year and something that I love about that season and that is springtime. Springtime is a magical time of the year when new flowers are blooming and little baby animals are all over the place and it is just simply wonderful. Having a farm background, I love, love, love springtime because it is a time where crops are starting to get planted and just so many things about growth and um, new life is coming about. So today I wanted to honor that with you all and as we are working, think about what kind of animals that you like what are your favorite things about springtime, okay? We are going to be drawing a bunny today. If you don't wanna draw a bunny, you can draw another animal. If I'm going too fast in the video, it's okay. You can always pause it. And then also, I'm going to use some supplies that I have at home, but everybody has different supplies. If you want to use a piece of cardboard and maybe a carpenter's pencil, that's okay. If you want to use paints because you have paints, that's okay too. I'm going to be using um, some heavier paper. It's called mixed media paper, and it's in a sketchbook that I have. It's a larger piece of paper. I'm also going to be using a permanent marker or Sharpie. You can use a pencil instead if you'd like. I'm going to be using washable markers and then showing you the marker trick, if you don't already know that. And then I will be using a paintbrush any water cup. The water cup I chose to use today is one that we are recycling from an old yogurt container. So you can grab any kind of old washed out container and use that as your water cup if you'd like to do that too. So let's have some fun and get creating today. To start our drawing, you will need to make a curved line towards the top of your paper. Be sure to leave enough room for some bunny ears then a small curved line connecting the bottom so that the bunny has a head, two little dots for the eyes, a V shape for the nose, and two curved lines for the mouth. Then draw three curved lines for the whiskers, two curved lines for each ear, and the ear touches at the top, so each curved line does. Then you'll need to make two curved lines on the inside of your ear for your little bunny. Oh, isn't he adorable? Now for the body, we're going to draw two big giant curved lines and kind of a straight line connecting them on the bottom. Straight line in between to make his little legs and two little tiny straight lines on the bottom to make his feet. Now we're drawing a heart. You can draw anything else. If you wanna draw a football, basketball, um, flowers, anything that you want your bunny to hold. To make his arms, those are just little curved lines that kind of look like the letter C or the backward C. Then his bunny tail looks like a cloud, so you can make that. I'm going to draw the ground because I don't want my bunny floating in the air. If you want your bunny floating in the air, that's all about your art. Next, I drew a hill behind my bunny. When my marker touches my bunny, I pick the marker up and then I put it back down again. Now, for my son, I did not want to do a sun in the corner. I wanted to do something else with some basic shapes. So, my son is a circle with some triangles for the outside of my son. But you can make your son any way you like. Now that our bunny is finished, you can use any drawing materials that you have at home to color it in, or you can use paints, whatever you'd like. However, today I'm going to do what's called a marker trick. And this marker trick is something that we do in our classroom a lot, especially in kindergarten and first grade. I'm using the side of my marker to get a really big, thick line. And when I'm done outlining every single shape or area, then, only then, can I do the marker trick. So let's continue outlining every single area so you can see what the marker trick is.
Now that all of the shapes have been outlined, we can finally do the magic trick. The marker magic trick is just taking a paintbrush and some water, taking the paintbrush, going over our marker when it's wet, and pulling the pigment or the marker to the center of our paper. Our marker will do something called bleed. When it gets wet, washable marker bleeds, and it basically creates a watercolor look. So our markers right now are becoming like watercolor paints, which is so neat. And that is why in the classes that I've taught with my first grade and my kindergarten kids, we call this the marker trick. Isn't it neat? Sometimes when I'm doing the marker magic trick, there are marker areas that just wanna bleed into each other, and I don't always like that. So what I do to fix this problem is I will use my finger, and you just saw that I did it once, and now I've done it again. I'm gonna do it here in another second because the marker just wants to go where it, it wants to go, and I don't always like that. So I take my hand, dab it a little bit, and it will fix the problem. Later, I can go wash my hands. That's just something that I like to do in my own art, and if it's something that you wanna do in your art, you can do it too. I hope you enjoyed this creation of a spring bunny, and I hope you have fun creating your own art at home. I love you guys, see you soon.